being a blue angel means you're going to do your best to uphold the idea of being a blue angel. It's not the fact that you're any hotshot pilot per se. It's the fact that the idea of what you're trying to show the nation, especially the young people. But lead pilot and commanding officer Dave Carroll says it's not really as dangerous as it looks. I don't really feel that we're in a risky business. Most people consider the type of flying we do to be something like Buck Rogers, but nothing could be farther from the truth. It takes a great deal of skill and mechanical knowledge and coordination to do the maneuvers that they do. But what really staggers your mind is to see a team do this, such as the Navy Blue Angels, who are here today. A pilot in the Navy's Blue Angels precision flying team crashed and died in the Southern California desert today. He was practicing formations with seven other planes. The accident comes one month after four Air Force Thunderbird flyers crashed in Nevada. The demonstration pilots, of course, are the stars of the show. But for those six men and their jets, there's a crew of 84 men and women, a support team that makes sure the show goes on. Uh, we're just modifying basic techniques that are taught to everybody. We just fly them a little closer together and a little closer to the ground so that the folks can enjoy. We haven't been to Hawaii since 1972, and uh, this is just a little added uh, attraction onto the end of the season for us that uh, really made a very successful season in with uh, the combination of, uh, of a wonderful weekend, which we're looking forward to.